Monica Lewinsky shut down Hillary with one awful truth about what Bill did to her. President Donald Trump is expected to meet with Mike Pompeo on Thursday following the Secretary of State's two-day trip to Saudi Arabia and Turkey amid mounting hard to defend allegations that Riyadh may have played a role in the disappearance and even murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. It's been over two weeks since Khashoggi, a prominent Saudi dissident who last year obtained U.S. residency over fears for his safety vanished shortly after visiting the kingdom's consulate in Istanbul. Turkish officials claim there is gruesome audio and video recordings, described in Turkish media in recent days, that reveal Khashoggi was beheaded and dismembered within minutes of entering the compound. Pompeo traveled to the Saudi and Turkish capitals to seek answers in a case that has piled pressure on the Trump administration over its apparent skepticism of the Turkish claims. Trump said Wednesday in the Oval Office that the United States had asked Ankara for copies of any audio or video evidence of Khashoggi's killing, if it exists. Trump added, I'm not sure yet that it exists, probably does, possibly does. I'll have a full report on that, when Pompeo returns. That's going to be the first question I ask. The president also disputed claims he is giving cover to Saudi Arabia a U.S. ally with whom Washington cooperates on oil, anti-terrorism, arms sales and that acts as a bulwark against the U.S.S. regional enemy, Iran. I want to find out what happened, where is the fault, and we will probably know that by the end of the week. Mike Pompeo is coming back, we're gonna have a long talk, Trump said. Trump previously floated the idea Khashoggi may have been killed by rogue killers and in his phone calls with Saudi King Salman and his son, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, has appeared willing to accept their denials of having any knowledge of what went on inside the consulate or who may have ordered Khashoggi's killing. Saudi Arabia, meanwhile, has called the alarming allegations against it completely baseless. Yet Saudi authorities have failed to produce any evidence of their own proving that Khashoggi left its diplomatic compound in Istanbul on October 2 while a growing file of circumstantial evidence has become increasingly hard to dismiss. The pro-government Turkish newspaper Yeni Seyfak claimed Wednesday that the 60-year-old journalist who wrote for the Washington Post was accosted by a team of Saudi agents immediately upon entering the consulate, cutting off his fingers and later decapitating him. Sabah, a separate Turkish newspaper with close government ties, on Thursday published surveillance video images showing a man who previously traveled with Saudi Arabia's crown prince on a visit to the U.S. in March walking into the Saudi consulate in Istanbul shortly before Khashoggi disappeared there. If a country engages in activity that is unlawful, it's unacceptable. No one is going to defend activity of that nature. They need to simply say what happened, Pompeo said in Turkey after holding talks with President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Pompeo declined to say whether he heard or viewed evidence Turkish security officials claimed to possess. On his way home to Washington from Turkey on Wednesday, Pompeo acknowledged growing calls for answers, sooner's better than later for everyone. Turkish investigators searched the Istanbul home of the Saudi Consul General and the consulate where Khashoggi was allegedly killed for clues, but have revealed relatively little about what they discovered there. The consul left Turkey earlier this week.